All right, guys, so gonna get ready for today's shoot and well live stream and I will see you guys on TV. This is crazy. Seriously, super fun. I can't wait. Here we go, my Buhai squad. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Hey guys, Mabuhai Squad, what's up? All right, so we're kind of jumping around through time in this vlog. For those of you who saw the segment, did you see it, all of you in US and Canada? Did you see it? How did I do? I don't know yet. Okay, I'm gonna get ready now because RJ and I are gonna head out. We have our taping for the Today Show. Oh my gosh, actually it's not even tape, it's going live. OMG, this is crazy. But before we take you to location, first of all, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button, join the Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. So. So if you're just joining us, RJ and I were approached by NBC um, to shoot a segment on the Today Show with Hoda and Jenna to basically showcase the Philippines. The way the producers explained it to me was, right now Americans can't really travel, obviously because of the pandemic. So every week they have a segment where they essentially take the viewers to a new destination somewhere in the world. And they had chosen Philippines and they had asked me to be the roving correspondent um, and, and to be the host, essentially, of that segment to show the Today Show and the hosts, Hoda and Jenna, around the Philippines. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I was like, well, sure, I'll do it. This is great. So um, we agreed to do it. Now, when they had asked me, this was before, way back before Metro Manila went under lockdown for the second time. The original plan was for me to really travel to like El Nido and all around and shoot a bunch of really great footage. But because of lockdown, we had to make certain arrangements. Uh, so we were only able to shoot uh, stuff around Manila and the other places in the Philippines that would be featured in the segment because of lockdown had to be taken from previous vlogs of ours. We made it happen, guys. Oh man, it's been a total, total operation. Let me tell you that. <laughs> so guys, tonight is the live portion. So a lot of this was already pre-shot and the segment has been edited. However, they also asked me to introduce the segment live, like literally Zooming or Skyping rather from Manila live on the Today Show. OMG, so that's happening tonight. Now, this whole TV guesting on NBC was several weeks of planning. <laughs> and work um, and I was able to take a BTS. So while I'm getting ready now, uh, I'm gonna go change and prepare all of our stuff, our ring light and all of that. Watch this of when we first started to film for this NBC guesting on the Today Show. Here we go. What's up Mabuhai squad from the future? Yes. All right, so as you guys heard, we're shooting for NBC. The Today Show! Oh my gosh! Wow! Like, super honored to be part of this, to be asked to do this. Um, there's a lot of pressure to, like, present the Philippines and our culture in, like, you know, the best light we can. Um, here at the shoot is RJ and Heinz, yes, on the camera. But basically, guys, it's just vlogging, like, the way we do here on the channel essentially so it's kind of like just vlogging around i suppose um i just finished a spot on filipino breakfast so they're making it now there's kuya roman guys this place is called the silogan it's basically where they cook filipino breakfasts which are called silogs all right guys we finished taking the shots here in this area heading to our next location this is so fun um the instruction from the producers um of nbc was that we had to present the Philippines um, to Americans, assuming they've never been to the Philippines before. And so it needed to be almost super simplified. So uh, I, I kind of have to like go back to my Canadian brain when I'm explaining things, like assuming that the viewers don't know anything about Filipino culture or anything Philippines. So I basically have to be as simple, quick as possible. 
All right, guys, so now we are here at a special place called Ramon Obusan Folkloric Group. Here, we're going to film the traditional Filipino bamboo dance called Tinikling. Honestly, growing up, me and my brother and my cousins used to be so amazed at Tinikling dancers. Um, you know, we'd see them in various Filipino festivals in Toronto, uh, and people would hire different groups to come in and perform at birthdays and you know Filipino celebrations that kind of thing so um, it's always quite the sight and I'm happy that the Today Show wanted to feature Tinikling um, dance in uh, the segment guys I'd like you to meet Lyle he's the dance director and Lyle what can you tell us about the history of Tinikling Tinikling being the most popular dance in the Philippines came from Leyte and neighboring Samar it is a dance imitating the tickling bird, um, eluding the, the traps set by rice farmers. Oh, okay. So this dance is based on a bird escaping the traps yes. from rice yes, farmers. Yes, they are. Oh, see, Filipinos are so creative. <laughs> now, Lyle, I heard a rumor that you're going to teach me how to do the tinikling. I don't think it's a rumor. I think you're, you're going to do it, actually. Okay. Are you ready? I don't know. It's time to find out. Jenna, hold up, I'm doing this for you guys. Here we go. Guys, it's like it's like double dutch. I don't know when to jump in. Like Okay, I need here. to rest. <laughs> we are here shooting now in Intramuros. Yes, guys, this is one of the most beautiful parts of Manila. It's the historic district. So a lot of like pre-colonial buildings here. Like look at this, see? Looks like Spain. So I shot on the Calesa, the horse-drawn carriage. Shot there. Um, and we're also taking shots of the churches. Hi Hoda and Jenna, Mikey Bustos here at your service, Mabuhay. I am here in the heart of Manila's historic district known as Intramuros. Yes, and guys, I am looking forward to showing you my home here in the Philippines and I hope you're ready for an adventure because I have several things planned. Let's go. Don't worry guys, I will be your best friend. I've got lots all planned and arranged. We Filipinos are known for our hospitality. And although we're known to be really good at karaoke, I did not schedule karaoke right now for this trip. It's all right, we'll do that next time. Guys, here shooting the final scene now at Sarsa. And you guys know Chef JP. Yes! OMG, Chef. This sisig is the best sisig I've ever tasted. Thank you so much. Oh, it is so good. Thank you. We will order one more. Oh my gosh, guys. RJ, it is so, so yummy. RJ, you need to try. There's RJ doesn't really eat sisig, but he needs to try this. Mabuhay spot. Let me show you this. Open, open. Let's do the makeup thing. Open, open. It's so good. <laughs> Five Mabuhay stars, guys. So this is the best, the best thing ever. Oh my god. OMG, Mabuhay squad. The food here is so delicious. Look at that. Oh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, you can't visit the Philippines without trying our famous Filipino dessert known as Halo Halo. Chef JP, can you explain what's in this? First of all, that's ube ice cream. It's summer right now, so it's melting really fast. Uh, so you gotta eat it right away, obviously. I um, would love to. And then stewed bananas, 
some beans, then there's some makapuno or some sort of like sweetened candied coconut. Uh, that's milk that you're gonna pour. Halo halo in English means mix mix. OMG guys, let's add the milk. Oh, nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay nice. guys, mix mix. mix, mix. Yes. We're gonna break this. Let's try guys. Halo halo. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, yes. Gosh. I love the Philippines. I think that's jackfruit you just had. Every bite is a different surprise, guys. Let's see what I'll eat now. Plantain. Nice. It's like you're playing the lottery, but you win every time. <laughs> uh, go deep. Go down. Oh my gosh. Mm. I can see some stuff still hiding underneath. Oh my gosh, there's more. You gotta That's dig deep. Like, hollow, hollow. Mix, oh, mix, there mix. it is. All the good stuff. <gasps> it was all hiding at the bottom. Guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Guys, honestly, the best. <laughs> Alright, guys, today is the big day. Today is the day we go live for the Today Show. That's right, I've taken a nap, tried to be well rested, but waking up from my nap, my face is still a bit swollen. That should go down, but our bags! See those our bags? RJ's gonna try to make them go down. RJ, can you please? RJ's prepared some like Cucumber. cucumbers. Guys, my face is so round! There's RJ. Yep. RJ, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it's so cold. Uh, uh, <laughs> it is cold. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is falling. Okay, look, I'll move. look up. Yeah. There. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't press it. Uh, <laughs> those are like glaciers. I'm getting brain freeze. Ah. Mabuhai squad, I'll let you go in a sec. OMG guys, so I thought I had been here already for six minutes. RJ says it's only been two minutes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, time ticks slower when your eyeballs are being frozen. All right, that was the longest 15 minutes ever. Wow, <laughs> that honestly felt like almost half an hour. Ew, I got, ew, I got cucumber seed on my face. That actually feels really good. Okay, let's see. Guys, I don't see a difference. <laughs> In fact, my eyes look a little bit more swollen. <laughs> All right, guys, here at the location, where we're going to be streaming the um, live portion of the appearance on the Today Show. OMG, it's gonna be soon, guys. I'm trying not to be nervous, but I'm also trying not to relax. You know what I mean? Like, over the years <laughs> of having to like perform and be on camera, I've kind of learned to relax, and sometimes I relax too much, and I'm not thinking properly, so... I'm gonna try to stay alert, but not panic. <laughs> Guys, here for moral support is Raquel, my cousin. Thank you. She's gonna help me choose what to wear because she has great taste in clothes. <laughs> There's Roman helping us set up. RJ, are you ready? Yeah. Um, we have power all the way to this house over here um, because we have a ring light that we'll need. Okay, we're at a very popular park here in Manila. This park is called Cartilla ng Katipunan. There's a beautiful tower there. There's traffic here. Um, and internet is fairly fast here. So it's a location that we chose and was um, already pre-approved by the producer of the segment that will be airing later. There's traffic. It's really, really fun. Guys, I'd like you to meet Alexis. Hi, Alexis. Hi, yes. Hello. He's assisting us from, well, government assistance from tourism, Manila Tourism. Alright guys, so just connected with the producer, everything is okay, here's the setup, you see that? <laughs> Appearing on nationwide TV to my mobile. Wow, technology guys. There's a beautiful park there, see that? Really nice. I mean, a beautiful water fountain. Guys, I'd like you to meet our great friend, Charlie and Javon. Yes. Now Charlie has been so gracious at helping us secure the permit.
to shoot here. He turned off the music and turned on the water fountain for this segment for us. Thank you so, so much. So great. This is going to be so, so fun. Hi, Nika. Nika's here as well for moral support. So, Filipiniana. All right. Perfect for the segment. Maybe you can walk, walk in the background. <laughs> Hey Ed, Cousin Ed Mark, also here. Thank you so much, Cuz, yeah. for coming. It's a beautiful water fountain though, right? It's a flag. It's so nice. And guys, it's oriented in the Filipino flag sort of configuration. And it, it does Filipino flag colors. Like if you were to fly a drone, you would see that this here creates the Filipino flag. Not right now. Oh, rainbow! Awesome! It's a sign. Okay guys, just a few more minutes here waiting now for the control room um, at the studio to call me. I just got a message, they're gonna do it shortly. Ah, guys, wish me luck. I'm like sweating here. Um, I'm also standing on a little stool for positioning. Uh, they asked if I had an apple box. So I'm like, I don't got an apple box, but I got an apple boy. <laughs> Can I stand on him? Um, no, but uh, we just took one of my stools from home. You gotta make do with what we have, right? Um, also, I have to remember the name of this park in case I have to mention where I am. It's a long name, guys, look. Cartilla ng Katipunan is the name, OMG. I don't trust myself to commit that to memory. OMG, there's Hora and Jenna. You guys see them? Oh my gosh, it's real. to your hair hoda and keep your arms and legs inside the aircraft it's time for our series today takes you where we're going to travel to a surprise exotic location all right last week remember we took you guys to south africa right now we have no idea where we're landing so let's recap our three clues okay clue number one this country provides more nurses to the rest of the world nurses. than any other our second clue is this country is comprised of six, uh, 7,641 islands. Okay, and clue number three, from September to January, this country celebrates oh, one of the longest, longest Christmas, Christmas seasons, seasons in the world. I don't guess. I don't have a guess. I mean, Christmas season means it's cold. Greenland? Okay, well, let's see. Coming in for a landing. Where are we? The Southeast Asian country of the, the Philippines. Philippines! Oh! Okay, and here to greet us is Manila resident and YouTuber Mickey Bustos. Hi, Mickey! Hi, Mickey! Mabuhay, Hoda and Jenna. How are you? How, how do you how say it? Mabuhay? Mabuhay. Yes, Mabuhay. correct. It's our formal greeting. It means long life. What time is it there? Um, we're on the exact opposite side of the world as you guys. So <laughs> while you guys are having your morning coffee, we're getting ready for bed at this side of the world. Oh, well, we it's are currently so uh, like 10. Thank you. 10. Yeah. Up. Well, we're so excited because we can't wait to take a check of the Philippines. Take us around. Nothing ever goes to waste. Appreciate them, boys. Baby, we be noy this way. I'm YouTuber Mikey Bustos. And that was my 2019 parody of Lady Gaga's Born This Way. After becoming a finalist on Canadian Idol, I moved to the Philippines where I'm known for my music parodies on Filipino culture. Cause in the Philippines where it is very hot. Hi Hora, hi Jenna. I'm actually riding a Kalesa. See that? We're on a horse-drawn carriage. I have so much to show you around my city, my home. You ready? Let's go, guys. Hoda and Jenna, this here is called the Tinikling Dance. It's a Filipino cultural dance where the dancers need to coordinate their moves and jump through that clapping bamboo. And trust me, guys, you don't want to get caught in there. It hurts. Lyle, I heard a rumor that you're going to teach me how to do tinikling. Yes, we are. Are you ready? Uh, <laughs> Hora and Jenna, I'm doing it for you. Yeah! 
I need to rest. <laughs> One of the greatest things I love about walking outside is there are tons of street vendors. Guya here is selling watermelons. Mmm. Look at that. It's on a cold plate. It keeps it nice and cold in this little like makeshift fridge. The Philippines is comprised of 7,641 glorious islands. And my tip, explore as many as possible. Check this out. It's so beautiful. I recently experienced the natural wonders of Bohol's chocolate hills. This is so cool. The sun dries out the grass on these hills and that's what gives it the chocolate color. We are here at the Tarshur Sanctuary. For those of you who don't know what a Tarshur is, a Tarshur is a type of primate. It's not a monkey. Bohol is very famous for the iconic Tarshurs that live here. It says here, Tarshurs are resting. Please observe silence. Oh my god, oh my gosh, it's looking at me. Oh my gosh, okay, I see it. Hold on, look. Isn't he cute? It's like this big. So they like sleep during the day. They're nocturnal, they wake up at night, and then they eat bugs. Okay, we'll leave it alone now. Bye, fella. On the island of Boracay, you'll cherish its white sandy beaches and magnificent sunsets. Wow, wow, wow. In 2019, our visit to the Palawan Islands left us stunned. They're like giant rock castles. Look at how big that is. That is massive. Beautiful crystal blue turquoise water. What do you guys think? Check out that view, guys. Everyone comes here to this area to take the iconic Instagram photo. It's very signature for Koron. And now, it's time to eat. Kaina, as they say in the Philippines. Hora in Jenna. I am here at Sarsa restaurant with my good friend, Chef JP. Hey guys, so this is a pancit canton, our version of a stir-fried noodles, grilled chicken in a sal, marinated in coconut vinegar, lemongrass, lumpia Shanghai, our Filipino version of a spring roll, and then we always have it with vinegar. Mmm, that crunch fills my soul. Let's try the chicken. Hora, Jenna, eat through the screen. Eat through the screen, take a bite. You can't visit the Philippines without trying our famous Filipino dessert known as Halo Halo. Every bite is a different surprise. Halo Halo has so many ingredients, you wouldn't believe it. It's like you're playing the lottery, but you win every time. <laughs> Honestly, the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that gosh. was awesome! That was the best tour! Awesome, you enjoyed that? We loved it, we awesome, loved it. Awesome, great, I had and, so much fun. And I know a lot of folks may not know, but most people in the Philippines actually speak English if you're planning on going on a, on a vacation. That's correct, so if you're an English speaker, you'll get around just fine here. Well, you it are is amazing, beautiful. boy. You just turned us on. That's our next stop. You're coming to visit, and you are the best tour guide. We're the best, the best, the best. All right, don't forget to tune in <laughs> next Friday to see the mystery destination we're talking about next.